Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen the theory of cryptographic failures, which is also known as sensitive data exposure. And it has been captured the uh, second place in the top vulnerabilities. Uh, please check the previous videos for more information. And uh, in this video, we'll be doing a demonstration of how the vulnerability works. Saying that, let's jump into the video. So you have to connect to try hack me and you have to search for the OWASP uh, top 10 and this is the machine for that so let's see how we can access it so this is the start machine so i already started it but uh, i just want to show you like how we actually do it so this is the start machine button which you have to click so before that you have to connect with the servers so you have to go to the download section where your uh, ovpn is there so if you go to the download section you can see here i have my uh ovpn so we have to download uh, we have to go to this specific location and then run the command so where you can find that so let's go to try hack me and uh, it will be in access sections so you can go to access and uh, you have to just download uh, your configuration file so once you have downloaded it you will be connected you can see this connect uh, symbol here the right mark so this is how it will be done so if you have still have any doubts uh, please do check the previous videos where i have explained about uh, vpn connections so i hope it will be giving more uh, idea about how exactly it works so saying that uh, so we have to go to this uh, download section and you have to use uh, sudo open vpn as well as my uh, file name which is ravitech.9949.ovpn which i already used it so you can see i have already started the machine and it's running successfully so let's go to the machine and you have to just click start so we have to just wait for few, uh, like one minute and we'll be assigning an ip uh, using that ip we can connect with the vulnerable machine where we can uh, uh, work on this sensitive data exposure so it is also known as cryptographic failures which is recently being changed uh, from sensitive data exposure to uh, cryptographic failures so that is the reason for this specific OWASP you can see it has sensitive data exposure so this is the basic introduction of uh, uh, sensitive data exposure and it's also known as man in middle attack so I mean uh, the techniques like man in middle attack so let's see okay so let's say I have a physical machine let's say it has a1 and uh, this is my router which is r1 and let's say this is an internet so whenever you search for some website xyz website it will go through the router and then the router redirect it uh, redirect you to the, the particular website but in this case hacker use a specific commands where he'll be the router right this is the hacker he is the router here so based on different commands he will be compromising your router and uh, instead of going to the router it will go in this direction so there will be a hacker in between who can view all the information that you are uh, uh, using like the web page that you're visiting or the images and so on so well there is a video in open testing uh, playlist you can uh, visit that and uh, you can know more about how a mind middle attack works so just uh, information apart from that uh, we have uh, other uh, material one where uh, we can access the database uh, files so we'll be working it uh, like in a, just a few seconds so this is the commands that we'll be using it so you can see we uh, you can use this following command and get the uh, table information so basically this particular command uh, is used to query the information about specific table the result set will contain one row for each column in the table column name and column type so as you can see here we have uh, when you click the customers table we have got the information so it has different section it has different sections customer id customer name credit card and password so whenever you get the information uh, from the customers you can see the first one was related to customer id the second one was customer name and the next was uh, credit card uh, information and then comes the password so this is in the hash format 
so this is how we can get the information uh, if we if we are able to get the database access so saying that let's go to the second section which is uh, so whenever we get the hash format we can uh, decrypt it using uh, the crack station this is one of the application through which you can do it but uh, on the other hand we have many applications like that where you can uh, decrypt or uh, crack the hashes so this is one thing so we'll be using all this uh, in the task 11 so so this is the app so let's go to the IP address and let's see whether we can able to access it or not so well it's working uh, perfectly so everything is going good we are connected with the machine successfully so we have login page but uh, for this we have to have the username and password which we don't have right now let's try uh, try to get those uh, username and passwords by uh, visiting the database here so let's go back so whenever you create a web page there will be multiple uh, directories through which you can have uh, maybe a CSS or HTML uh, uh, different sections where you can add these web pages so if you are a developer you will be knowing uh, there will be let's say slash CSS let's see whether it works there is no CSS but uh, to get this information we can go to Kali Linux and uh, let's use uh, dir. so using this we can get the information about uh, uh, the hidden directories so I have to get the uh, IP address 20 10 point 10 point 1 2 3 dot uh, 1 just click enter so it will be running uh, various you can see here this is my IP and it's searching for other uh, directories which are like most used maybe let's say login page or sign up and so on so from this we can get the information uh, about uh, the hidden uh, files so we have to just wait and we have to see whether uh, there are some hidden files or not so that is the first task that we have to perform so so as i said you if you are a developer you will be knowing how uh, there usually there will be a folder where uh, it is known as asserts so let's check so you can see we have uh, the asserts folder but we should not get access to that but we are getting that okay so these are different uh, you can see css but i'm not sure why I, did, I was not able to access it so fonts images so on so as you can see here we have uh, the database uh, file so if you check uh, if you expiring soon okay if you check uh, in the second one we can use the database uh, uh, connections we can use the database commands and we can get the information so we'll be doing that in just a minute so so here you can see there will be asserts which will be popping up so we also have API so we'll just wait for that I just want to show you before uh, let's uh, how I got that so where is the file I have file here let's download the web app dot uh, DB so once I downloaded it let's use these uh, commands so I have various commands uh, here so let's go to Kali Linux and you can see we have got asset section so we have to use all these uh, hidden directories and we can get the information uh, about uh, where can we find these uh, database files and so on so you have to just check and it would take a lot of time though but uh, yeah this is how you can find the bugs so let's go back and uh, let's use the other folder and uh, let's go to the download section that we have downloaded you can also see the permissions about uh, where is the web app there you go 
so you can see we have our web app and now let's try to access it using the commands are provided here so file db you can use it and let's access it by using sqlite 3 so we entered and uh, here we can get the tables information by clicking dot tables so we have two different tables sessions as well as users so i think users is a better option usually uh, we go to so i'll be using this command where uh, instead of customers i should replace it with users since here i have users uh, uh, files so users so you can see these are the different formats that we have so if we go back here we got the information about uh, this one and now just uh, we'll select from uh, that particular table so let's uh, select star from users so star is nothing but select all so I got this information according to this particular format in this case I would require the password which is this one so I used to get the admin password so I'll just copy this one and uh, if you check there is a crack station which was mentioned here so we'll be going uh, through crack station I'm not sure why it's showing me expired expired is it expired no okay so let's uh, go to the crack station mentioned here and uh, let's try to add the oh I think I didn't copy that okay let's go here let's copy copy selection let's go to the crack station let's paste it and uh, I'm not sure about check the hash so we have got the result here so the password of uh, admin is this is the password of admin that uh, we are getting now so if I go back here so let's go back uh, to that IP that we have and uh, let's try to log in so user is uh, admin and uh, forgot to copy the password let's copy the password and let's try to paste that there you go so login so we have got the flag so we are into the admin panel and we have got the flag so this is the end of uh, uh, the session where we have got to know about cryptographic failures or uh, sensitive data exposure in the video just a disclaimer this is uh, uh, this is just for the educational purpose uh, don't perform this operation on the real systems unless and until you have authorized so yeah uh, i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone